Now, you know, you see on social media, they tell you to chase money. They tell you to, oh, yeah, get that money. Guys, you should never be chasing money or women. Okay, especially women. You start off with money, though. Money. You do not chase money. You attract money. Okay, do you think Tesla chases their audience? Absolutely not. They attract their audience because of how good their product is. Okay, if you're always chasing the lead, if you're always chasing the clients, you're not going to have too many clients. If you're actually attracting them because of how good your product is and people want it because of the value that you bring, that's what you want. Okay, you don't want to be that idiot that's always spending money on marketing. The product should be the marketing. The product should speak for itself. Now, with women, you should never be chasing women because guess what? You'll always be spending money chasing women. It's because you're trying to keep women. Okay, but if you're good enough, I'll tell you what. You think you'll be stressing trying to keep a woman if you're a multimillionaire with abs and have everything, mansions, cars, everything. You think it'll be hard to keep a woman? Absolutely not because you keep attracting her every single day. Now, if you keep chasing them because you're not that guy, now, what do I mean by not being that guy, that slouchy guy who just sits on his couch and eats a bunch of fucking bullshit and watches Netflix 24-7? That's the guy who doesn't attract. That's the guy who chases. Now, he might use his money to chase women. He might buy them. But guess what? That guy can't make her wet. I promise you that. Because guess what? He has a dad bod. Who's going to want that? You can't attract women like that. And that's the thing. You have to attract the law of attraction. I promise you, if you had a guy with a six-pack shredded, he would attract, he wouldn't be chasing. A man who could reject is a powerful man. A man who could reject money because of how much money he has. A guy who doesn't have to be a slave to money, that's a guy who's powerful. Someone who can't be bought, who could reject. Okay, that's the thing about being the attraction. Attraction doesn't just come with looks. It comes with character. Now, Elon Musk isn't the most attractive guy. No homo, pause. But guess what? He knows how to attract a good team, good marketing skills, good sales. He can make a good product. So he doesn't have to chase the client. He doesn't have to chase success. The success came to him because he attracted it. How? From all the skills that he learned, from the experience that he built. Okay, so again and again, do you ever see a Chad, a guy with a six pack, multi millionaire? You ever see him chasing women? Absolutely not. You see him rejecting women. Okay, so that comes back to my point. He doesn't wake up and chase women. They come to him. He attracts them. But that's why when you see gurus and a bunch of idiots say, you got to hustle for the money, you got to go chase the money. No, you got to attract it. Okay, you can't sell a course on how to build abs and you don't even have abs yourself. Okay, you got to attract them by you being the product. That's all we say. You have to be the product. You have to be the guy who they want. But you can't just be the guy always chasing the goddamn client. You got to be the guy attracting the fucking client. Okay, so at the end of the day, always be the attraction, not the fucking chaser. You see, here's the thing. A lot of people have it mixed up. A lot of people have the idea that if they're chasing money all the time, that in the end, they're going to end up at the top. But here's the thing. Those are the same people who in the end, they invest in the stock market. And all they gained was a couple 70 cents. And supposedly they're hustling for the money. They're chasing the money. You see, and those are the same people who at the bottom, they're fighting everybody else trying to get the small pieces of crumbles, the small pieces of money, you know. But instead, what they're not doing and what you should be doing is building yourself, you know. Like my brother said, you're the product. You're the image. The first thing people see before you even open your mouth is you. So you got to make sure that you're in the best physical shape. You know, nobody's going to want to listen to somebody who's overweight, obese, who walks in the room and say, you know what? I got a car. I got two jobs. I invest in the stock market. Yeah, I make a little bit of change, a little bit of sense. No one gives a fuck. As soon as you open your mouth, nobody's going to want to care. What does this guy know? You could just tell by their body they have no discipline. You know, they don't have no work ethic. If they can't even take care of their physical health, how do you expect them to take care of business? You see, it doesn't work that way. But if you're on the other hand, if you're in good physical shape, a lot of people want to listen to you. You know, this guy has a good physique. He must know something that I don't know. He must have the discipline and the work ethic every single day to wake up and train. You know, a lot of people don't have that. You know, people come up with an excuse. You know what? I'm probably still have more money than you. Like I said, all they have is two jobs and a couple of cents invested in the stock market, which doesn't mean shit. You can't compete with other people who are in better physical shape than you, who have more money making skills than you. You can't compete. Now with women, a lot of people want to chase women. And those are the same people who end up at the bottom. Those are the same people who are not focused. You see these people, you know, chase women, chase the parties. You know, let's go hang out. And those are the same people who every single day have the same routine. You know, they go after their job, they chase after the women, and where are they at? 
in the next five to ten years, you see those people still at the same bottom. You see those people still fighting for the same job. You know, they're fighting for the women. They have no wife. They have no skills to make the extra amount of money. And those are the people in the end they are going to be left behind. They're going to be in the same city, driving the same car with the same amount of hoes. You know, it's like you don't win anything by that. Their physical shape looks shit. By the time they hit their dad age, they have a dad bod. You know, they're looking for a retirement fund. You know, they have nothing going on. And while you have the other people who decided to be focused, the people who decide to work on themselves, those are the people who in the end are going to outcompete all these other, you know, all these other bums, all these little ants fighting to get to the top of the mountain. But at the end, they don't have anything. They have no credentials. They have no skills. In the end, you don't win anything by chasing money and you don't win anything by chasing women. Instead, you should attract money and you should attract women by, like I said, building yourself.